Okay, guys, so more enthalpy. I'm getting tired of it. Are you? Okay, well, we're not done. Uh, so enthalpy of formation. We need to define this first. This is important. It's going to come back. You're going to see this in several different areas as we continue talking about energetics. So you need to know this definition. So enthalpy of formation. All right, so the enthalpy of formation, it is the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is formed from its, stand, from its elements in their standard states. So let me explain to you. If I want to know the enthalpy of formation for CH4, if I want to know the reaction for that, then the reaction for that is carbon in the solid state, because at in, in standard conditions, remember standard conditions, standard states, standard conditions are 101 kPa and 25 degrees Celsius. Carbon is a solid in, the, in those at that uh, pressure and temperature, uh, plus hydrogen, which is a gas in those conditions, to make the gaseous CH4. So to the heat of formation to make CH4 is, what is CH4 made of? Well, it's made of carbon and hydrogen. What's the standard state of carbon? It's just solid carbon, and the standard state of hydrogen is H2 gas. So to use those, put those together to make CH4, we need to have two of those to balance that out. So that is the enthalpy of formation of, of methane. If I wanted uh, you to give me the uh, reaction for the formation of uh, let's go with uh, let's go with ethanol C two H five O H. Okay, so you would make ethanol C two H five O H from its elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in their standard state. So you would have carbon in the solid state plus hydrogen in the gaseous state plus oxygen in the gaseous state. Remember, hydrogen and oxygen are diatomic. Uh, we're going to need to have uh, six hydrogen, so a three there. And we only need one oxygen, so you're going to have to do a one half right here. One half. Now, you would not come over here and start putting some numbers here to balance this, to get rid of these, this half right there, because it's to form one mole. This number needs to be a one. It's to form one mole of the product. So those are two enthalpy of formation reactions. Now, how are we going to use this initially? Well, we're going to use it to once again find the enthalpy of a reaction. And so another way to find the enthalpy of reaction, so we've already done Hess's law to find the enthalpy of reaction, and now we, are, we did the bond enthalpies to find the enthalpy of reaction. Now we're doing enthalpies of formation to find the enthalpy of reaction. And a nice easy way to do it, this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it, is if you can sum the enthalpies of formation of the products and subtract the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants, then that is the enthalpy of the reaction. And this data is usually going to be coming from a data table. So it's not too difficult. So example, we'll just do one quick example and then we'll move on. All right, and here's some data. And uh, they're probably not going to give you the oxygen data here. And so let me talk about that for just a second. Um, what would be the enthalpy change of formation for oxygen? Well, that's to make oxygen from its elements. Well, what are the elements of oxygen? It's O2. It's the same thing. There's no enthalpy change. Enthalpy change is zero. Uh, and so for an element, the enthalpy change is zero. There's no enthalpy change. So if you have an element in your uh, reaction, that's zero. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just plug in. We want to sum the products, so uh, CO2 and H2O. Uh, that's going to be uh, the 394 and the negative, uh, the negative 394 and negative 286. 
but there are two CO2s, and so, because uh, remember that the enthalpy is to form one of these, so we're going to do uh, 2 times negative 394, and we're going to add that to uh, oxygen, I'm sorry, not oxygen, water, and negative 286, so that's the sum of the uh, products, and then we need to subtract from that the sum of the reactants, and the only reactant that's not an element is the C2H2, there's only one of them, and so that's going to be 227. So if you do the math here, you'll get negative 1301, and that's uh, kilojoules per mole, as your delta H of reaction. Okay, and so another technique, another method for solving enthalpies.